Hey there, CJ Maurer with The Gist, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to build a fully optimized renewal system in HubSpot. If your business sells any type of managed services agreements that have start dates and renewal dates, what's the best way to track those engagements and get out ahead of the renewal process so that you close when as many renewal deals as possible. We got a really cool way to do this. We're gonna show you how to do it strategically and efficiently. Let's dive in. Okay, so as you probably can assume, smart CRM configuration begins with data, hygiene, and organization. So before you even start thinking about pipelines and fancy workflows and things like that, think about the data, specifically the properties that an account management and or sales team would need to track a managed services engagement and complete a renewal process. So I've got a dev portal here with a bunch of dummy data that kind of created a generic renewal system. And so we can assume that, and again, every business is different, but you're gonna have an account manager. You're gonna have a start date. You're gonna have a renewal date. You may also want to indicate the term. You may wanna indicate the monthly revenue, right? In this instance, we have the inclusions. So what are all the, the services that are part of this engagement? HR consulting, quarterly tax filing, bookkeeping, job postings, so on and so forth. This is a dev portal that has been customized for the HR and payroll industry. That's step one. And when you think about this, right, we want to think about all of the different teams that will need information in certain sections, right? For one, the sales team that originally closes the deal will need to capture information. So you'll need information when the managed services agreement is closed one. What are we doing? Who's managing it? How long is it for? And other variables, right? But then also there will be certain information that may be needed by the account services team as they are servicing that account or tracking it throughout its life cycle, as well as things that are needed when the agreement is coming due. So really think about this and I would recommend talking to other members of your team if you're building out a renewal process and figuring out what data points they rely on. There's probably a lot of stuff that lives in spreadsheets somewhere that could make its way into your CRM. Once you have figured out all of the properties that you need, the next is to make sure there is a system for submitting the deal up front. Everything begins with the sale. So here's an example of a managed services pipeline. Now, your business may put all of your deals into one single pipeline. Like my agency, if I'm being candid, we sell projects and managed services agreements. We categorize them all in the same pipeline up front. All we do is we use a property to distinguish, is this a HubSpot implementation project? Or is this a website development project? Or is this a marketing retainer, right? Or a Hub, HubSpot services engagement? We just characterize it by type. Some businesses will break it out where the project-based work lives in one pipeline and the ongoing managed services-based work lives in another pipeline. Whether or not to do that is a conversation for another day, but what you basically need is to make sure that whenever you have a deal that is for a managed services agreement, you know, that has a term with a start date and renewal date, that when in order to submit it, your reps are forced to capture all of the relevant data, right? So you do that in deal pipeline settings using conditional property logic and making sure whatever you need, this is captured. So I have this one for the Evans group here that has already been moved to sign paperwork, okay? So that's step one. Then what you need is a workflow to make sure that once that is closed one, people know what to do, right? And the necessary actions are taken. So I've got a bunch of workflows here that I'm gonna show you in a second. But you also need a pipeline to manage the renewal process. So once we've submitted the deal, what we've done is we've created a separate pipeline. In this case, it's a deal pipeline, but you could also do a ticket pipeline, right? That helps with the onboarding and tracking process. So you can see, this is where the deal was submitted, Evans Group, and that still lives in this managed services pipeline. But now here's the renewal pipeline. Here's the managed services tracking. So, okay, we have signed paperwork, right? Then we need to be able, we need a workflow that will create an additional record. Again, deal or ticket, in this case, deal. Then 
uh, assign it to somebody, and then that person can make sure it's onboarded and activated and whatever else needs to happen. Now what we have are other workflows that are automatically going to move the deal to different stages as it progresses. Renews in 90, renews in 60. I'll show you those in a second. So right here, this workflow is what we've created when the original deal is submitted, right? So if, if deal in the managed services pipeline is moved to sign paperwork, we're gonna set the company's lifecycle stage to a client, set their status as active. Um, and now because we have captured all of this data right here, let me show you right? The start date, the renewal date, all of this stuff. Now what we're doing is we're copying that information over to the company record, the master company record. So now anytime somebody goes into that company record for Evans Group, they can see, okay, this is an active client on a managed services contract. It started here. It ends here. Here's the term. Here's the monthly revenue. Here's the account manager. Here's what we're doing, right? So now that lives on the company record. You're creating an internal notification to remind your team or notify your team, woohoo, we just closed this deal. Maybe there's tasks for somebody on the account services team to begin the onboarding process. And then you create the record inside the renewal pipeline and also all of that data that you push to the master company record, you're bringing that over to the ticket, to the, to the deal too, so this lives here, right? So if I click into this deal, I see all of the renewal information. So for your team that's managing those, they get managing these managed services clients, they could just work within this pipeline and see all of the relevant information. So again, up to this point, what we've done is we figured out what data points matter for managed services clients. We've built in requirements for su submitting and closing a managed services deal, and then automation to move that to the master company record and create the, the deal in the renewal pipeline where all of that will be tracked. From there, you want additional workflows to update the deal and get people ahead of the renewal. So here's an example of a workflow that triggers once there's a deal in the managed services pipeline, it's active, and because we captured the renewal date up front, it triggers whenever today is less than 90 days from renewal or 90 days from renewal. So basically, whenever this thing is gonna renew in three months, well, one, move it over to the renews in 90 stage and send an internal email notification to say, hey, the engagement for this company is gonna renew in 90 days. Here's a reminder of everything that's going on. Here's what we're doing. Here's everything else. Now it's time to go reach out and schedule a renewal meeting. Or maybe you guys do it 60 days before or 30 days before, whatever it is. You can customize this for your business. But now you've built a mechanism where one, there's a single place to manage all of your managed services agreements. Two, you can generate really nice reporting dashboards to break down your managed services agreements based on what products and services are being included, who the account managers are, what their company sentiment is, and how close they are from renewal, as well as the actual uh, foot on the ground renewal work so that your team is being notified in advance of a renewal so that they can reach out, schedule meetings, and create those proposals and make sure that you guys are renewing as many of these deals as possible. The last thing to really put a bow on this is you want to track if this client renewed or not. So really the only manual movement at this stage will be moving it into did it renew or did it not renew? And as you can see here, you know, once again, you requ require things just like you would in the normal sales pipeline. And also if it canceled, right? So if I move this to canceled, if for some reason they broke the agreement, let's capture the cancellation date, right? Let's capture the cancellation reasons. Is there a win back possibility as well as cancellation notes? So what is that going to do? Well, it's probably there's that will trigger a workflow that will adjust the life cycle stage from client to former client or client to lead or subscriber or whatever you want, right? It will notify your team if there's a chance to win it back. And now you're aggregating valuable information as to why managed services contracts may cancel. So this is the whole system. Properties to track the managed services process from sales, implementation, account management, process for submitting the deals, pipeline for tracking the, the managed services engagements, and all of the workflows to tie it together so that you're creating records, moving them, and getting out ahead of the renewals. We do this 
quite frankly, for ourselves and we do it for a lot of our clients. We have clients that, that sell projects, that sell products, physical products, as well as long-term managed services contracts. HubSpot is a fantastic tool for making sure that you are managing these key accounts with precision and ease. So I really hope you found this video valuable. Uh, if you did, please hit like or subscribe. It really, really does help us. Also, if you have any suggestions for other videos, please leave a comment here, or there's some links in the description of this video. You can browse our site, drop us a line. We literally watch and, and view and respond to every single comment or, or form submission. We absolutely love making these videos for you, and we hope to continue to do them for a really, really long time. So thanks so much. We'll see you soon.